grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. And welcome to our service of worship here at the Leaden Vale this morning. It is lovely to see you and worship together. Um, we have already met this morning in Dimmock for a said communion and it's lovely to worship together online as well. You're very, very welcome to join us. Do say hello if you want to in the comments. Now, apparently you have to be logged into YouTube in order to do commenting i've had a couple of people to ask me so you have to register yourself as a user um i can give you more advice as i uh, work it out myself so if you if you can't comment at the moment you'll have to just sign into youtube it's very easy and anyone can help you do that so let me know it's wonderful to see you have you had a good week i actually went shopping on the weekend uh, on friday um I, I don't know if I enjoyed it or not really it was very bizarre uh, but it is lovely to see life returning a little bit to normal isn't it so sorry about the lockdown newsletter I've been sending out I'm going to just start calling it newsletter now completely forgot to do it on Thursday <laughs> apologies I was spending the whole day in weddings so I didn't get there uh, but I have I hopefully you've got your zoom code so you can join us for different things this week I'm going to just quickly run through what we're doing this week as always morning prayer every morning monday to thursday a variety of youtube and zoom should be on your uh, zoom codes i sent out monday night we have the prayer meeting it's just lovely it really is it's a lovely group a lovely group of people that come together pray for each other pray for the world you don't have to pray out loud it is on zoom but you don't have to pray out loud um why don't you give it a go honestly it's worth it give it a go um, and other than that, obviously, morning prayer, like I said. The other thing I just wanted to share with you this morning is if you haven't heard me going on about it already, it is our service of lament. Um, for some people, you'll think I'm absolutely crazy and you'll be wondering what on earth we're doing. Uh, but I feel that we need to mark the hardness of this year in some way before we rush on to uh, celebrating things being opening and for us that's joy we're going to do a pentecost but until we rush to that we really need to take a moment to go wow it's been hard uh, we have produced a number of postcards uh, which we are hoping to uh, deliver to as many people as possible in our benefits so if you uh, are around and don't mind doing some delivering just let me know and i'll uh, find a way of getting some postcards to you we're doing them in every uh, church in the benefice and we're hoping that our schools are going to get involved as well certainly um, I've had response from some of them it's something that will either appeal or won't and if it doesn't that's fine but uh, a little bit it's like our all souls service um, that we do every year it's a chance to remember so these are our postcards going out and there's a little space here for people to write down what's been hard this year what have i missed this year no one will read it i'm gonna say that i don't think anyone will read it i'll make my decision about that because we might like then yeah no uh it's just for you to put down what you want to say and then we'll use them in the service at some point that's what i'm trying to say sorry <sighs> brilliant okay shall we move on to our first song of worship oh lord open our lips and our mouths shall declare your praise. <laughs>
wonderful to sing in praise and worship uh, together. Oh, sorry. There we go. Um, we're going to move now to our time of confession. Um, I know I say it a lot, but I do think we're so privileged to be able to come to God and say, oh, I've had a week and this is what happened and I'm so sorry. So let's take a moment to allow the Holy Spirit just to stir up the things that we actually need to say sorry for. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and live in love and peace with all. We say together, Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we have our collect. After our absolution, which I forgot a couple of weeks ago. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Amen. Our collect. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm now going to pass over to Sue for our reading. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The Pharisees challenged him. Here you are appearing as your own witness. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid, for I know where I come from and where I am going. But you have no idea where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I pass judgment on no one. But if I do judge, my decisions are true, because I am not alone. I stand with the Father who sent me. In your own law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is true. I am one who testifies for myself. My other witness is the Father who sent me. And they asked him, Where is your Father? You do not know me or my Father. Jesus replied, if you knew me, you would know my father also. Thank you so much, Sue. If anyone would like to do a reading, I'd love to get more people involved in our online services. That would be fab. I'm now going to pass over to Divot Choir as they lead us in our anthem.
Fabulous. Thank you much to Bob and the choir as always. And uh, uh, plenty to reflect on as we uh, now listen to Jill as she talks us through I Am The Light. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the reading this morning from St. John, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. No follower of mine shall walk in darkness. He shall have the light of life. Now, most of you who are here today will know that I've spent most of my adult life working with, or at least being with, children. And some of you know that I spent part of my gap year, and yes, that was a very long time ago, a very, very long time ago, part of that year I was working in a school for blind children. So I do know uh, quite a bit about what it means to actually walk in actual darkness. And I also remember, perhaps some of you do as well, I remember what it was like as a child to be afraid of the dark. Actually, is there really something under my bed? I'm not at all sure. And of course, we certainly all know, especially those of us who are getting on in years, we all know how important it is to be able to see where we're going in order not to fall over things. We really don't want to be literally walking in darkness. But we also know that sometimes we use the word to see in a different context. We use that word to mean understanding. So when a child is struggling to understand why 10 divided by 2 is 5, when you get out the conkers and show her, usually she will suddenly say, oh, I see, I get it. I understand, because she can literally see. Well, as we get older, of course, we don't need to actually see the conkers. But still, when we have a problem and someone explains it, we'll often say, oh, I see. Seeing can mean knowing, understanding. And in the passage that we heard earlier on, Jesus was challenged by the Pharisees. They said to him, you are your own witness, your testimony is not valid. But he replied that it was valid because, as he said, because I know where I come from and where I am going. Because I know, I understand, whereas you just don't get it, you don't see. Jesus told them that his other witness was his father. And they thought he meant his earthly father, and they wanted to physically see this person. But Jesus told them, you do not know me or my father. You don't understand, you don't see, you don't get it. In this real, actual, physical world, we really do need to be able to see with our eyes. Or if we can't, like my little blind children, we need to have help to find our way by some other method. So if it's dark and we need to be outside for something, we're going to need to use some kind of artificial light, like a candle or a torch. And if we happen to live on a remote Scottish island with no electricity, we need those things indoors as well. Some of you might remember that my Clive used to collect small oil lamps. We had, I don't know how many of them, and they were great. Um, and of course, fall into the same category as torches and candles. And yes, yes, of course, I know all about renewable energy and in our houses, that's brilliant, but to find a path or a road outside in the dark, we need some form of portable artificial light. But there is a problem with these things. The problem is that using these kinds of artificial light uses them up. Using them uses them up. 
A candle will literally be consumed as it burns. A torch battery will run down. And of course, this is where the difference lies between I can see with my eyes and I can understand with my head and my heart. The difference between artificial light and the light of Jesus. Because Jesus himself is the light that we need to show us the path for our inner lives. The unconsumable light that we need to show us how to live our lives in, in this world in relation to him as well as to others. The light which we will see if we open the door where he is standing and knocking. Remember what David was saying about that last week? And it is the light of the knowledge of the truth. The light that has kept us pretty sane, in spite of probably a few blips. The light that's kept us fairly sane through what has probably been an incredibly difficult year for almost everyone in the world. The light that Jesus has kept shining on our life path, even in our dark times when perhaps we didn't actually see it all that well. The light that has given us hope that things will get better. The light that has shown us different ways of being the church in this benefice. The light that will show us ways in which we can move forward as lockdown eases. The light which will never burn out, will never be consumed, will never fail us. The light which no darkness can overcome. And we read that every year in scripture, don't we, at Christmas time and other times as well. Because Jesus said, I am the light of the world. No follower of mine shall walk in darkness. He shall have the light of life. It's a promise. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you so much, Jill. Um, for sharing with us this morning lots to think about uh, so while we do let's sing uh, that incredible Easter song as we're still in Easter, um, Easter season let's sing together <laughs>
sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. The Lamb is overcome. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. The Lamb is overcome. Wonderful, amazing to be able to keep singing our Easter songs and remembering that we are resurrection people and that Jesus is our light. I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna move into a time of prayer now. Do you please add into the comments any prayers uh, that are on your heart at the moment? Um, I recorded these in sessions in my garden. I was fighting against the mowers. It was like my fourth time recording it. Um, but uh, I was up to date as to yesterday. So do add any intercessions that in your heart and we will pray for them as a church family. Let us pray. Father God, I want to start by praying for our bishops, our archbishops and our bishops. Thank you so much for the wisdom and leadership that they bring the Church of England. I pray that you would bless them and help them to hear clearly your voice. We pray particularly for Bishop Rachel as she works so hard in um, the House of Lords. Ask that you would help her to hear exactly what you want her to stand up for. And thank you so much for the amazing job she's done already and all that she does there. Father God, I want to pray for each of our churches. I want to pray that you would help us know exactly what our calling is and how we as a church are called to serve our community. We pray for everybody who lives in Leaden Vale. Ask that you would help them know that they are loved by you and by your church. Father God, we pray for those, um, our local community, we pray for things as they get back to normal. We pray especially for those who were worried about money and coming off furlough and maybe worried about how their business is going to survive. Be with them, I pray. I pray for our local schools. Pray for our head teachers. They've just been so brilliant uh, leading their schools through such weird times. We pray for ANCAM, for Pauntley, for Brumsborough and for Red Marley. Pray for the teachers and the pupils and ask as normality starts that they would hear you and know that they are loved. And in this time of quiet, we just lift up to you, Lord, the people that we know that are sick or sad or suffering at the moment. And Lord, we pray for our worlds. We pray especially for India and the suffering there related to COVID-19. Lord, the sight we see on our telly and on our newspapers of people desperate for oxygen for their loved ones. And we do ask, Father, that you would help us as a world respond to that. 
We pray for the missing Indonesian submarine. Ask that you would be with those who search and with those who wait. We pray for the family of uh, the police officer who was killed in France. Be with them and with all those who now feel so anxious. Father, this world, there's so much going on. We pray for Myanmar. We pray for Northern Ireland. We pray for our own governments. Ask that you would bring peace and wisdom. Thank you for all that you have given us. And as we look at the beauty around us, we pray for our environment and ask that we would treat it well and better. Help us to do small things to make the round world around us work and make sure that it is still so beautiful for generations to come. Lord, we thank you for all you've given us. And in this space, you might want to say thank you to God for the things that particularly for you right now feel like such a blessing. And Lord God, as we go for the week ahead, I pray that we would be beacons of light for those around us. I pray for each person watching this video that you would bless them and keep them and help them to shine forth who you are in their daily lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Accept these prayers, we pray, through our wonderful, amazing Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. a little bit quieter in here so we finish our prayers by saying the lord's prayer together as always i'm not going to put it up because you can pray whichever version you like the, the modern the traditional in a different language i'm going to play the traditional version today um, and hopefully we'll all end vaguely at the same time as our savior taught us shall we pray our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Oh, I just love the idea of how many people are praying the Lord's Prayer together right now? How many Christians across the world will pray that prayer together? We truly are a communion of saints and that is glorious. Right, we are going to have our final hymn now. Uh, let's see if we can uh, raise the rafters, sing. I know it's hard, but let's just go for it. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine! Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. This is my song, praising my Saviour all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy. Whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising.
praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. My story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you for joining us in worship together. It is wonderful to uh, sing and praise and listen and be challenged and just feel part of the family, really. Um, if you'd like to join us for coffee, we are on Zoom at um, half past. So you are completely forgotten the time we meet for coffee. Um, half 11. I was going to say half 12, but I knew that wasn't right. Half 11. Join us for coffee on Zoom at half 11. We'd love to see you. And I'm just going to plug the prayer meet again. Go on. Give it a go. I promise I won't make you say anything other than hello. Um, probably. I certainly won't make you pray. Uh, it is just a lovely time praying together and really special. Um, that is anything else? I don't think so. Thank you for worshipping together. Shall we receive God's blessing? The peace of God which passes all understanding. Use Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and those you love always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>